at planning stage. This is Professor C.G. Konapure, uh, Department of Civil Engineering, Walchang Institute of Technology, Sulapur. So this is the learning outcome uh, uh, for this session. At the end of this session, uh, student will be able to apply the earthquake resistant measures at planning stage of structure. Now, what are the measures uh, we will discuss uh, in this uh, uh, session? Uh, the measures, so these shall be taken during the planning stage itself for following uh, features. What are the features? First is site selection. Second is the plan of the building and uh, plan of the building, why it is important? The behavior of the building which is governed by plan that is discussed in this uh, second feature. Third is shape of the building or structure in vertical direction of building. Third is the projection and overhangs for the structures. And last is most important thing is the foundations of the building. So these are the features which we'll be, we will uh, discuss, uh, which are required at the planning stage only. Now first is site selection. Now we can see here there are two diagrams and uh, most important thing is the building is uh, shown and uh, slope is shown, okay. Now what is important in this, building should be sufficiently away from steep slope. So this is a slope, steep slope. Whenever any building is to be constructed on the slope, first you chip up that uh, slope, make it uh, horizontal uh, level. Uh, on firm, firm ground you should uh, construct your building. Most important thing is explained in this sketch that is the foundation should rest on uniform soil. Here you can see firm soil or hard strata. Here it is filled up or reclaimed soil. So there are two types of soil on which the building is supported. So this foundation is resting on two different media, medium, okay. So which is not expected. So don't go for these types of sites where there are two per, uh, soil types of soils. This is one thing, okay. And uh, second thing is that uh, from steep slope, your building should be away from that steep slope. Okay, now the site itself is there. If we, if we cannot change the site, if we cannot, uh, there is no scope for the selection of the site. And uh, the, uh, firm soil is also there and filled up or reclaimed soil is also there. Then in, what the, in that case, what measure we should take for that? The measure is explained in this third diagram. Already there are two diagrams which were explained in earlier slide. Now what is to be done? On firm soil, the rough foundation is provided for this uh, uh, building. Uh, for remaining soil, uh, this reclaimed soil, the piles are taken or raft and pile type foundation, the combination is taken and those piles are anchored or end barrier on this firm soil. So th this remedial measure is required for this type of soil site. Now, now the second uh, planning feature is plan of the building. Now, especially in uh, public buildings, uh, different our uh, shapes are used like uh, I shape, H shape, T shape, L shape, U shape and uh, the X shape. These shapes are used for the public building, building in general in which the length and width of the extent of the building is very high. Uh, so, but what is the problem in that? The, uh, these buildings are asymmetric and this asymmetry should be avoided in the earthquake. Why? That asymmetric building undergo torsion, extreme corners are subjected to very large earthquake forces. So because of this only we have to avoid these types of plans. What change or what measure we should take here that the separation joints. For this type of plan, T plan, you can separate these two parts means this web and plan that we can say in case of uh, T uh, plan. So you separate it, the separation joint should be provided and we uh, separate these segments from each other. Why is it so? That is explained in this slide. Now this uh, explains you the behavior of asymmetric building during the earthquake. So this is earthquake shaking and the inertia force that acting on this building. This is L type of plan. And you can see here this behavior, this is the width of this section, this segment and along that width the vibrations will be there, sway is there and this is the length of this segment. So the length of the, this segment and width of this segment in both these two directions the inertia forces act that's why fatigue will develop and your structure will fail here only. Okay, what is the uh, expected? Now you separate this length and uh, these two portions, these two parts. So along its width, this part will uh, sway. 
along its length this part will swell and there will not be any fatigue there will not be any failure here that's why uh, you we should provide the separation joint now this is uh, the next uh, feature so at planning stage we must adopt this uh, especially uh, elevation while we are uh, giving the elevation treatment or while making the plan or building in such a way that we should get a very good elevation proper care is required that the shape in vertical direction of the building that must be uh, followed by this measure or measure should be taken while uh, planning the building in vertical direction now let us see this building height this h is height b is width of the building and h by b ratio must be less than 4 why if we make uh, the, uh, this h by b more than 4 you will get very high rise building or very slender building so slender buildings very slender building should be avoided okay sufficient width is required for that much height that is the important concept in this okay next thing is this type of building okay here cross is shown means we are don't go for these types of uh, vertical direction or elevations okay what is here uh, here the mass of the building is uh, uh, some x here it is x1 x2 x3 means the mass of the building is increasing as height is increasing or we can say that this entire building will act as an inverted pendulum and that inverted pendulum type building is unstable because load path is little complex in this days. So this cantilever will act its load on this uh, vertical member again uh, that will transfer through moment and rotation so that is not expected and the inverted pendulum is always very risky for the stability point of view. So what is expected you should go for this type of uh, arrangement. So your base width must be higher and as you go towards height your building mass or extent must reduce that is most expected. So most important point all in, the, in all these three is sudden change in the lateral stiffness should be avoided. Most important. So sudden change is there. This is the change in the stiffness. Here stiffness. Here is also stiffness. Okay. So whatever may be the, uh, uh, the plan. But in vertical direction, we should avoid the sudden change in the stiffness. Again, uh, next uh, these four uh, slide uh, four diagrams are explaining you what to be done, what uh, shall be avoided. This is a plaza type or tower type of building. Uh, here you can see the lateral stiffness of this segment, this portion, is some some which, which is having some uh, uh, amount x. Let's consider. As you go towards this tower, the lateral stiffness of the building is suddenly changed at this corner. So the sudden change in the lateral stiffness is not uh, uh, expected in the earthquake resistant structures. Uh, probably the earthquake may hit this corner because there is a sudden change in the stiffness. For this plan or this vertical direction is also same thing is expected. What we should do? We should provide the separation here means uh, structurally there there are three part but functionally these are acting in the, uh, as it is at it is required uh, for uh, for serving the purpose of functionality okay provide the separation joint make uh, the structure separate st structurally now i am having this question now for all of you please uh, pause the video why inverted pendulum type buildings are in unstable there are four options a b c d now just pause the video think of that and give the answer the answer is b that is the that is sudden change in lateral stiffness uh, that is making your building unstable okay okay next thing is projections and overhangs of the building now let us see this uh, configuration first Avoid long projected balconies. Okay, so cantilevers, length of the cantilever should be uh, moderate, not large. This is explained in this. In next uh, uh, sketch, large projections should be avoided. So here projections are there beyond your uh, base uh, or ground story of the building. This should be avoided. And third is floating column should be avoided. So most uh, important practice. Uh, thing is that the very favorable practices by the several structural engineers the floating column the column is taken from the beam so that must be avoided these three things are not uh, uh, ex uh, accepted expect, expected in the earthquake resistant design or structure so large overhangs projects and floating columns attract large earthquake forces they are of likely to damage and collapse 
damage uh, okay that is uh, expected but in case of the cantilevers and overhangs so definitely there will be collapse and that must be avoided in the earthquake resistance structures okay now your third uh, or sorry last thing is uh, that the foundations in for the building most important thing is your foundation uh, or building actually liquefiable soil we should avoid but uh, if that is not possible uh, then we have to go for uh, some remedial measure for that so what is happening in liquefiable soil if you observe this diagram the we were building is miserably sinking and that is with the differential settlement for in the liquefiable soil next thing for if foundation is to be taken for those types of soils what is to be done we should go for raft foundation okay so raft foundation uh, that will give you uh, uh, it may be liquefiable soil but it will give you at least uh, equal settlement next thing is that one more remedial measure for that uh, foundations in liquefiable soil you should provide uh, piles for that and anchor those piles up into the firm ground so this is liquefiable soil continue the pile up to the hard strata and anchor it your building will be stable okay these are the references for this uh, session thank you